What is up everyone? Happy New Year's. Um, it is December 31st and it's 11 something right now. Um, kind of tired and kind of drunk. So let's do this. Um, I was going to do a uh, top 10 manga of 2015. Yeah, we're not in 16 yet. Anyway, it's going to be my top 10. It's manga that I have read, that I own, because if I added manga that I don't own, it would be a little different possibly, but I'm going to add those into the honorable mentions because I don't have them yet, but I still want to mention them because I really enjoyed them, if I can think of them off the top of my head. This is going to be all improv, obviously. Um, really haven't cared about making YouTube videos over the, like, the last two years, but anyway, um, I have a little stack of honorable mentions right here. I probably should have grabbed off more because I've read, I've read a number of series this year, mostly love comedies, but I haven't, I'd say in the later half of this year, I really haven't read much manga at all. Um, even over the past three to four months, I really haven't read too much. Um, I started off strong this year. I was reading a lot and then I kind of fell off and slacked off a lot on reading and right now, all I read pretty much is Bleach Weekly and Nanato Kairu whenever they come out. Um, kind of stop catching up on what I own, but anyway, uh, let's get on with some honorable mentions. Um, I didn't feel like grabbing all 60 volumes of this series, but it's Shijo Saikyo no Desh Kenichi. Um, really good series. It concluded last year, or... Yeah, it, it was either late 2014 or early 2015 when it concluded. Um, I'm missing the final volume. It's 61 volumes. I really love the series. I highly recommend it. Sadly, it doesn't look like we're ever going to get it stateside, but I don't care about that anyway because I already have them all in Japanese except for the vo final volume, even the character book. Well, not the character book, the side story book, uh, Kenichi Plus book. But anyway, it's a good series. I would put it on the top 10 except for my one problem with the ending it was very rushed it didn't really get a definitive ending uh so that's my major gripe with the series with a series that lasted this long i really wish he would have drug it out a little bit longer even if it was clear he wasn't going to cover every little aspect of the series because that would have taken so long he built it up so much that there's no way he could have covered it uh, i believe he just got bored and wanted to move on with the next series, which he started right away with three one-shots uh, last year and started the new series this year, I believe, and it is Tokiwa uh, Kitareri. And I have the first two volumes right here. I believe volume five is coming out. I believe I saw on his Twitter page that volume five is coming out soon. I really, I've read the part of volume two and I don't know, the series is really strange right now to me. Um, I um, really need to pick it back up and give it another shot because when I was reading it, it was chapter by chapter as they came out whenever it was new and it really didn't make a lot of sense to me and it didn't drag me in the same way Kenichi did so I didn't keep on reading it like I should have and I need to catch up on it sometime. But it's an honorable mention because it's Sion Matsuana and I really love his works. Next up, Nanato Karu. Now this has been a pretty bad year for the series. It's done very well in sales but as far as the arcs that have come out this year, it's been three or four mini arcs maybe? I don't really know. I, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. But anyway, I really like the series and I wish I could put it in my top ten, but just because of the last few arcs, this last arc, the arc that it's in right now is really good, but the previous two to three, maybe four arcs have not been that great at all. So. Um, based on my reading experience over this year, I cannot put it in the top 10. Now I'm going to mention a couple more that I've read that I don't own. Um, she, uh, fuck, I don't even know. Uh, Rikudo, it's a boxing manga. It's really good. It's a seinen boxing manga. Very gory. It starts off crazy with the main character, Riku. I don't even remember if his full name is Rikudo. It's been a while since I've read it because I called up on reading and I was wait, waiting for the chapters to build back up. But it basically starts off, his dad, he's living with his dad, his dad and his mom are apart, and his dad hung himself, and 
these people, I don't even remember, it was debt collectors or something, they come in and they see the kid punching his dead father and it was just crazy. It's a crazy series. Um, you really need to check it out sometime, possibly, um, if you have a strong stomach. Uh, Shima Uma, it's another series that I read. It's really grotesque. It's really awesome. Um, it's about people that do pretty much anything for the right price. But it's really good. Check those out. I can't think of any more off the top of my head and the video is getting long, so I need to move on to the top 10. Number 10. I was baiting on putting this one on here or not because it is Seishun Pop. It's a seinen love comedy with yandere and incest and it's just crazy um i really like the manga but you hate the main character you really hate the main character and the way it ends it makes you hate the main character even more it's one of those rage manga that you just you can't put down you can't stop reading it because it's just so good um the kid's listening to ben and he finds out that his older sister, I believe it was his older sister, you'll have to forgive me, it's been a while since I've read this, was the lead singer vocalist in that band. Uh, they were separated for years. <laughs> I don't want to spoil too much because you really need to read it to understand it, but it's just one of those rage manga that gets under your skin and makes you hate people. You will have deep hatred for some of these characters whenever you read this manga. It's just crazy. And it's one of the only manga that I recall with an actual incest ending. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Station Pop. It's only six volumes, so it's not a lot to buy if you want to buy it. Uh, it doesn't take much money if you can find them. I believe, I think I had to wait a while on mine because they had to get them from the publisher. Number nine. This is another manga that ended here recently. Nozomi X Kamiyo by Wako Hona, the same mangaka that did Nozoki Ana. I really wish I would have mentioned that one in my honorable mentions because it's a 13 volume series that I do not own and it's one of the series that really kicked me off into getting into the seinen love comedies and drama and romance and stuff. It's really good. It's uh, But this was kind of a spin off to Nozoki Ana and it's Nozomi X Kamiyo. Um, I believe it topped out at eight or nine volumes out of the first five. They're really easy to read if you wanted to learn Japanese because it's shown in Sunday comics. It's not too much text and it's pretty easy to read. So if you want a manga to learn how to read Japanese, this one isn't a bad one to start with. Oh. Number eight. Domestic Na Kanojo by the female mangaka. Where is her name? I don't even remember her name. Sasuga K. Um, it's the mangaka that did a good ending, GE. I have the first three volumes, and like Seishun Pop, it's one of those rage manga, but you don't just hate the main character, you hate his older love interest even more because she is a bitch. But anyway, it, it's a good series. I recommend it. Just. If you're not a fan of, like, I've watched soap operas and stuff growing up, so I've always been drawn to more adult-oriented love stories. So this fits in that category. It's not necessarily all the fan service that's in it. There isn't too much in series like this, but it's just the emotional appeal of the series. This is like a soap opera, so if you're not in for heavy romance and rage and characters pissing you off, I wouldn't read it, but if that's your thing, this one's one you might want to check out. Let's see, what number am I on? Seven? All right. Which one was seven? I don't even remember. Oh, uh, let's do this one. This one looks like a good seven. Fairy tale. Um, I finally picked back up reading this, and I don't really regret it because I believe I was biased whenever I was reading it. I read the first 21 volumes and I really didn't like the series all that much, but now I'm actually, I actually really enjoy it. It's because whenever I started reading it, I was judging it against series that were better, um, like One Piece or Naruto. I was expecting, I was expecting with it being as popular as it is, an amazing series that, that offers a lot, but it doesn't. It is your shonen series. It's a very good shonen series, 
but it's not the best by any means. Um, most people probably like it, probably read it. I actually like the anime quite a bit, which is strange coming from me, um, because I believe the anime has been adapted pretty well. Um, there's not as much filler as some series like Naruto or One Piece with tons of filler. So the anime kind of helped me enjoy the manga a little more. I read through 21 of the manga, then I got started buying the anime and watching the anime. Then I decided to reread the manga, and I actually like it now. Though this is the final English volume I will be buying because I'll be buying the rest in Japanese. Yay. Um, number six. No? No. No. Yeah? I don't know. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Where did that stack come from? I don't even know anymore. Whatever number this one is. Hansu X Terasu. Sexy and stupid water polo comedy. Um, it's pretty much just as it is. Um, the main character is a complete idiot. It's your, it's really basic, stereotypical, uh, saying in, uh, love comedy. Um, it's run by King's Comics, so that's no surprise. They also did, I believe they did Prison School, or currently doing Prison School. Anyway, this is a male manga kid that does this series, though. By the way he draws, like some of the females in the eyes and stuff, it's kind of got a shoujo feelish to it. But anyway, he's been doing this for a while. He's had a couple of other long uh, sane and love comedy series that I really need to pick up and start buying. They're pretty expensive, so I'll probably wait until I'm able to go and find them somewhere. But anyway, um, eight volumes is out currently. It got an OVA. Um, it's not too much to mention about this series. It's just typical stuff that you would find. It's just a water polo setting. So that's the only difference. A lot of these love comedies and saying in love romances and stuff, they're really similar just in different settings. And this is one of those where it's just typical, but it's in a good setting, but it's done really well. Um, it's not an overload of fan service. You don't even get to see the main female's breast until later on in the series. Um, not too much rage to do with this series. It's just kind of light compared to some of the other series that I mentioned on this list. But it's good if you want to check it out. All right. Number five. Pretty big list, a uh, pretty big stack on this one. I need to buy the other three in Japanese. I think volume 12 just came out recently. Uh, Triajax. Um, this is one of those I've been buying since volume one came out here. I've been buying this for a while and didn't get around re to reading it until quite literally maybe a month or two ago. Uh, I've just been spending 14, $15 or so on a volume and just putting it on a shelf, which happens a lot whenever you collect manga and you don't have time for them. <laughs> but anyway, um, think of, well, I don't even really want to relate it to High School of the Dead because I think it is so much better than High School of the Dead. You get all the fan service of High School of the Dead, sometimes more. Um, it's a little more mature in some instances, but you get more characters, so that's awesome. And it's more story. I, I really didn't think it was going to be like High School of the Dead is done by the two brothers and the artist just writes and draws this so I was thinking maybe the maybe the artist brother wasn't that great at writing so yeah but I was surprised it's actually pretty good it's really I won't say it's a deep series it's clearly not thought out all the way to the end but you can't think manga out all the way to the end whenever you create manga you just can't do that because it doesn't work because it can be dropped or canceled at any time. So, for what it is, it's really good. I recommend it. I need to watch the anime. Need to get around to the anime. Um, hope the anime's done pretty well and doesn't have a bullshit filler ending like a lot of series get. But anyway, I have the first nine. Um, there are some moments where it's written better than others, but all in all, it's a good series. I'd recommend it. Um, the art definitely improves. Like Volume 1, the art is pretty much the level of High School of the Dead, which High School of the Dead really doesn't have the best art. But by the time you get to Volume 9, the art gets much, much better. 
Number four. Um, don't meddle in my daughter. Or don't touch my daughter. Or however you want to interpret the reading of it. Um, don't meddle in my daughter by Nozomu Tamaki. Um, he's still doing doujinshi of this series. And in fact, a couple of days ago, he was selling it at the Winter Kamiki at number 89. Um, sadly, 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 it's only a three volume series. I was really hoping it would last much longer than it did because it had so much potential and could have lasted so much longer. And it's so much better than Dancing the Ben Power Boon. Um, but anyway, it's three volumes. It's comical, fan service, um, superheroes and stuff. Basically what comics should be. Um, well, the more adult comics here should be like. Sad. He can do it better than most of the people here can. Number three, another love comedy, but this time a volleyball setting. Um, this one is Oki Ononoka Wai Daisuke Deska. Anyway, uh, do you like big girls? Um, volume two is out. It's still ongoing. I really love the series. I just start. I just caught up reading it today. Um, it's done episodic, where each chapter is contained in itself as a story, and basically. You have this guy, this little guy that takes over as like the manager for the volleyball team and his sister is on it, it's his older sister, but he has a crush on uh, another girl and he basically fucks all the girls in, in on the volleyball team. Yeah. Typical stuff. But anyway, it's good. I really like it. If you're into love comedies. Most of the stuff on this list is a lot of like just different settings because that's what I enjoy these days. Number two on my list is Showa A History of Japan. Need to get the final volume. I only have the first three. Amazing. Um, I've said it in a number of videos I believe or maybe I never uploaded those videos in which I mentioned it. Um, don't even recall anymore. But anyway I was really amazed to find that I would have such a huge drawing to this type of manga. It's a historical autobiographical, uh, autobiographical, I don't know, anyway, of World War II. Um, it starts right before World War II and goes, the final volume ends in 85. This one goes from 44 to 53, which is right near the end of World War II and 45 and this manga inspired me to go out and start buying a bunch of World War II documentaries and stuff so I really like this manga not everyone's gonna like it um, it's a manga I personally recommend I really enjoyed it but it's not a manga for anyone basically your typical anime and manga fan in the United States will not like this manga yeah but if you're hardcore and love manga, and I didn't know I liked World War II and learning about war and stuff until I started reading that. So, yeah, you learn new things about yourself every year. And now I'm getting up in age, sadly. And here we have Ichikyo Kyopeke, Volume 1. This is all I have. Volume 2 just came out in Japan at the end of December. Love this manga. Cannot praise it enough. It's... It's not really too much of it. It's pretty much just everything that Rutama Zume has done. I just relate a lot to this manga. Um, I cannot wait to get volume two because you cannot find volume two yet online. You can't find the scans or the rolls for this series really. But from what I've read, it just makes it to number one just because I relate so much to this manga. And I want to be him. You want to be him. If you're an anime or manga fan, or an artist you want to be him it's just awesome it's an awesome manga I recommend it but anyway that's all I have I need to get to bed it's probably January 1st by now so yeah thanks bye